Hi, and in today's tutorial, if you want to make a really quick poster design in Word, then I'm going to show you how. So firstly, I'm going to change the background of the page. So I'm going to insert, shape, go to the rectangle, click and drag across your page, make sure it stretches across the whole of your page. There we go. Once it's selected, make sure you're on shape format. I'm going to select black but you can go to shape fill and fill it with any color you like. Then I'm going to go back up to insert, shapes, and select the circle. And I'm going to click and drag whilst holding down my shift key to make a perfect circle. Then whilst it's selected, go up to shape format, go to shape outline and get rid of the outline because all shapes will have very narrow outline around the outside. Now I'm going to hold down my Alt key and you can see my cursor changes. I'm then going to click and drag out another circle. Then I'm going to grab that circle, grab out another one. Those two are selected. Hold down my Alt key again and I'm going to select those two and drag out until I've got five circles. Now once I've got five individual circles I want to equally space them. So in order to do that I click on one of them hold down my command or control key and click on all of the others. Make sure you're in shape format and go along to the align tool here. Click on the drop down and select distribute vertically and it will distribute those circles equally. Then before you click away go back up to the align tool, click on the drop down and select align to left. That will ensure all of the circles are perfectly lined up together. Now we can go ahead and change the colours. So select the first circle. I'm going to go up to shape fill, select a colour, go to the second one. If none of the colours are up here that you want, then just go to more fill colours and you'll get your colour wheel. You can move the cursor any way you like, or you can use this eyedropper tool here, and then you can select from any other colours on your page, or if you insert a colour palette, you can choose from those colours as well. And go to shape fill again. Perfect. Once you've chosen all your colours, select all the circles once again by holding down the command or control key and then go up to the group tool here, click on the drop down and select group and this will group all those circles together as one object which makes it a lot easier to copy and paste and move around your poster. So again, I'm going to copy and paste this. You can do it a number of times. Command or Control C, Command or Control V. Or like I do is just hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag. Now all I'm going to do is use this circular rotation tool icon at the top here. I'm just going to click on it and spin my object around. I'm going to place mine down at the bottom here and then just line at the edge of the box with the edge of the page. Again, do the same here, line up the edge of the box and then roughly eyeball the distance here and the distance here. Once you're happy, we can go and add some text. So I'm going to go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and drag. And then I'm just going to insert some text, just put the word the here. And I'm going to get rid of the background of this text box and it also has a black border which you can't see but we'll get rid of it anyway. So I've selected my text box, go to shape format, shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. Then we'll just select that text, again you can't see it because I've turned everything black and transparent. Once you select the text go to the home tab and then I'm going to select white as my font colour. Then before I click away, I'm going to go back up and I'm going to increase the font size. And I'm also going to change the font to Brasilia. Just increase that a little bit. Now, obviously all of this is personal preference. You can play around with this as much as you like. You can fully customize it, but I'm just giving you the tools and techniques here that you can need to create this poster. So again, now we've formatted this text box, we can just simply copy and paste it. So I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key again. And then I'm going to click away. You can see these two boxes are highlighted here. 
but I'm going to click away because I only want to select this text box. So double click inside the text box, Command or Control A to select all the text, and then just type your next word. Now obviously I can't see the text because my text box isn't big enough, so we just stretch that out. And then I'm going to change the font again with this one. Double click inside, select it all, go up to the Home tab, and then select a font of your choice. I'm just going to place that right below that E, just try and line up that T and that E. If I want this perfectly in the centre of my page, then make sure it's selected. Go to Shape Format, go to Align, and select Align to Centre, and it will centre it to your page. Then we can click back on the first text box. Ooh, Command or Control Z if you need to go back. Just grab the edge of the box and then move text around. Okay, I'm going to grab this one, Alt or Option, click and drag, Alt or Option, click and drag, and then once more, Alt and Option, click, oops, and then once more, Alt and Option, click and drag. So that's all the text that I want in this poster, and all I've done is copy and paste it. Down at the bottom here, I'm just going to change this word to design, stretch that out, and then in this one, I want to increase the spaces between the characters. And I'm going to show you how to do that because it's a really useful tool to know. So select your text, right click, go down to font, then go to the advanced tab here, go down to character spacing, spacing. I'm going to insert 30. You do have a preview at the bottom here, then click OK. So I want that to be roughly in the middle of this circle here. So the end here is between the top and the bottom of that circle. That seems about right. I'm just going to move it over just a little bit. And I might just reduce that text size. So again, highlight the text, go to the Home tab. I'm going to select this Reduce Font Size. That's about right. I can reduce the text box size if I want to. And I could line it up with the edge of those circles there. And then let's just change the font of this one and the text. Now to make this easier, what I will do is just delete this one because I've now formatted this. Copy and paste this one across. Click away, click back on this one. Double click inside, change the text. And then again, you can play around with these, move them to wherever you want to. I'm just going to try and put the T in the middle of the O, right there. Once I'm happy, I'm going to hold down my command or control key and highlight or select both of these text boxes. Then I'm going to go up to Group and select Group. And now I can move this round as one item. Perfect. So there you have a really quick, simple and easy poster. It should take you no longer than about 10 minutes. Once you're happy, you can export that or you can print it out straight from your computer. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.